All right, so ready for another day of van building? I think today we have a lot of loose ends to tie. And guys, we took the plunge. We have bought a fridge and it's coming today. So we're gonna have a fridge in the house today. Finally, I don't have to deal with cool boxes because they don't work anyway. So I might as well just, just get a fridge. It was painful. Right, so there are a lot of tasks that are seemingly little, but are no less important, such as doing the step insert so one does not sit on the couch and the couch fall down and break and destroy all the hard work that you've put in. So, seemingly little task. Very much important. <laughs> then we need to cover the wheel arch box thingy. So that thing needs to go. Replace hinges. The curtain back out is not working yet. And fridge. Fridge. Install. See this lovely, nice step that you need to get into the van. Okay. Now this is the um, either the bed position or the or the or the sea couch position. But when this pulls out, obviously there's nowhere to rest on here. So you see that twist. So you can't sit on this properly. You can only sit like here on the edge at the moment. So we basically need extra floor here. So we do that. And what's really good about this is that this step insert will make going into the van easier. Some members of the family have not visited the van yet because they can't get in, because this is a bit of a, you know, <laughs> uh, trick. So what you need is a intermediate step, and that's gonna basically double up his down. So it's gonna be the extra floor, and it's gonna be the booster step into the van. <laughs> All right, let's go. Now we need to weight test it. <laughs> Balance. Elegant. <laughs> okay, okay. Yep. Yep, mm. right. Go ahead. Look. Yep. And then you grab it, you pop it outside. And then <laughs> someone comes in, takes their shoes off before entering the house. It leaves them outside in the rain. Shh. One, two, three. That's actually quite a natural progression. Now, people, no complaining that now you can't get into our van. <laughs> There's a step. <laughs> what you cooking? Pasta. Excellent. I have put quite a few spices in it. I see. Experimentation. Still no fridge yet. Okay, but we need to go to Royal Mail to get uh, the parts of the mist yesterday. So hopefully the fridge is not going to arrive. <laughs> <laughs> but lunch first. You know, some delivery companies leave it in a safe place, which by the way is not a safe place when you throw it over the fence or put it behind a bin. And then some just don't bother. I really hope they don't throw our fridge over the fence if it comes. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck to them, that's 20 kilos. Well, let's go and see what they have for us, shall we? Is it just me? Or have they left the fridge in a safe place? I just I just got a glimpse into into a mirror. Da -dun. 
Da -da 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 -da. What are you doing there? There's no note. Our fridge is in a safe place. Mm, customer re reference CRX80. That is the fridge. Yeah, well, it, it does say it in big letters over there. True. We got a fridge, and nobody nicked it while we were out. I need to lift the fridge off the styrofoam. Yeah, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. Oh. I actually did forget what colour it was. Whether it was silver or black, it's silver. I never checked. Me neither, they're selling out so quickly that I just bought one. So there's this piece of stuff around it. Or is that the, part the, of the, the fridge? That's part of the fridge, I think. Don't, don't remove that. What's that? Does that lock? How does my fridge open? Yes, this side. Just. <laughs> anyway, yeah. I just need to know that it fits. No, it's not going in that way. Should we try and get it to the back door and see if the door opens? Yes. I can tell you the door opens in the inconvenient way. Right, okay, so we are catching somewhere. That's the first problem. I think it might be catching on this trim, but I won't know until... What's no. the furthest back you can take it? You know, it might be possible to do it without having to move the leg of the bench. If it's far enough back. Whoa, what was that noise? Anyway, I closed it. Don't panic. Right, let it go, it's fine. Not even. See, it can open more. It can open more, huh? Yeah, it can swivel pretty much all the way. Thing is, bins are supposed to go over here. I was gonna put the oven, you know, thing yeah. here, but if obviously that comes here, then the oven stuff will go there. Yeah. But bins can still come here. Yeah. And other like laundry and stuff. Mm hmm. I think we're gonna have to move the leg. This can't stay here because I went to check the measurements of the possible oven microwave thingy magic that we might get, and the oven cannot fit here. Uh, the oven is 57 centimeters long or wide or whatever, and this is 47, so it's even worse. Uh, so, and that leaves that space there for the food column and the bin column. I think it would be a lot better if we move this leg two centimeters that way <laughs> and that will make this fit. With the original design, so yeah. the fridge is here, then you have a food column here, you have the oven on that side and then bins and stuff on uh, underneath the oven there. And uh, that is much better orientated, you know, um, with the drawers there and everything like that. Yes! Yep! We did it! Maths! <laughs> so if we make the fridge flush with our cladding here and our leg here, then what happened oof, was this. So it hits the uh, the leg, okay? So we worked out that we need to move it, I think 29 mil. Oh, what? Um, my question is, so it passes just here. But why don't you want to latch properly? What's your problem? By the way, the latching takes a bit of learning, okay? We found out that it's struggling to open if I try and open it one-handed. I have to do that because these little plastic bits don't quite fold all the way down if you do it one-handed. Honestly, that's a bit of a downside to this fridge given its price. I think you should be able to open a fridge with, a, with you know, one hand. 
anyway. You could manage it, but it hurts, and I feel like I'm gonna break it. The least they can do is just give me a, I don't know, aluminium fridge, no plastic fridge. Okay, so we just need to attach it to the floor now and wire it up. Technically, yeah. I think this calls for a building montage. So we've got the wire for our fridge coming from our fuse box, the wire from the fridge. We're going to connect them together using these um, button terminal crimps. Well, spade connectors, that's what they're called. So we've got two different ends and they will basically connect together like that. And that way if we ever need to remove the fridge we can just disconnect the fridge like that and take the fridge out rather than cutting the wire. Ooh, labels. Woohoo! Yeah, we were prepared. Right. Hi, you coming in? Yeah. Hi, sweetie. Love you too. Alright, that's definitely in. Yeah. No. Yeah. Obviously, it's not cold yet. No. Very nice. Okay, I suggest we close it and, and get it cool. Yeah. How long should it take for it to uh, cool down? Like the instructions say. I'll look at it. Hold on. The instructions say nothing! 750 pound fridge, zero instructions. Oh, no, 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 no. Actually, there are some instructions about how to flip the door. I, I just noticed, though. They could have just said, like, I don't know, flip door. They would have something. had to say it in 20 languages, though. I don't care. Just tell me something. Oh. Ah. Thank you. A 750 pound fridge. Is it? So the uh, fridge is on, we're waiting for it to um, basically come up to temperature. We've actually put our max fan remote control in because that's the only thing with the temperature gauge on that we have at the moment. So we're going to see how cool it gets. Uh, uh, and uh, while we wait... Kebab. Honestly not the best wrap kebab. It's uh, some kebabs that you know you can eat them very neatly. By the way I'm actually really glad that we got the fridge. Yeah. Now that it's working, and I'm like, oh, we can, we can, you know, buy some butter and and just st store some like staples in the fridge, like all the time, you know. Obviously, not things that are, are gonna go off easily in the fridge, but just things that like we can actually start packing the van, yeah, and not unpack every single, you know, cavity. Because mm. we've already got like clothes, just as general, you know. If we hop in for a weekend trip, we've got stuff in here. Um, We've already got heating, we've got the electricity. It's like slowly but surely the things are just kind of coming in, creeping in mm. and staying here. Mm. Yeah, and um, in terms of the, the cost, so we did pay £750 for this fridge. Mm -hmm. And that was cheaper than, than what, what, what they, they are on most sites. Mm -hmm. So the reason we bought it was like, so first we decided that we're going to wait a bit and see if we can find one second hand. Yeah. But, but as uh, fridges have evolved over the past 18 months, it seems that they're only producing them in batches 
they're becoming more expensive because all the camper van companies yeah. keep buying them. So this fridge, the CR CR X80, X80. yeah, um, has been like 700 to 750 for a while. I was like, okay, let's wait for some sort of deal. So it goes down a little bit or whatever. Yeah. And instead of going down, it went up to 850. So I was like, oh shoot, <laughs> like it's just gonna keep going up. Mm. So. So basically, we bit the uh, bullet and found the cheapest site we could. I'll leave the link it. down below because they actually have. I don't, I don't know if they'll have stock anymore. But yeah. yeah or oh, oh, whether the prices will be down, but yeah, whatever. Exactly. Anyway, we bit the bullet. We bought the fridge. Came in like two days, mm. and we're just hoping that. Well, we've got it now. Yeah. It'll be fine. And in terms of finding a second-hand one, we couldn't find like any or yeah. like if it, if it will come up and then, <laughs> then like professionals will purchase them really quickly yeah. and like we are not professionals you know we don't we, like we don't know where, where to look for them and like like people snatch them up really quickly if mm. they come up at all yeah and 12 volt, 12 volt fridges are not that common like, mm -hmm. second hand um so that was uh kind of a yeah. you know might be like in the two years without a mm -hmm. fridge and you know yeah. um and the only other option that you could go with because we don't want a gas fridge we had that in scandinavia no drains your gas then no. and we don't have gas and we don't have gas as well so the only other option that we've seen people do is you know you buy a regular 100 pound household fridge and plug it into your inverter but that would require our inverter to be on all yeah. the time because the fridge is a 24 7 appliance yeah essentially so you have to have it plugged in it may not be on 24 7 but it needs to be plugged into power in case it needs to cool down so that and also ac fridges are not designed for camper vans. I know plenty of people use them and they're, oh I've had mine for three years and it's fine but I don't know. I feel like because the DC fridges are designed to be on camper vans and boats which go all the time. As far as the first 24 hours of owning a fridge or first 12 hours of owning a fridge have come I'm really glad we have it because <laughs> this is a huge weight off my shoulders. I keep thinking yeah. like I no longer have to think about it and I don't have to check the, the, the deals and Mm -hmm. I just there's so many things that you do in the van conversion and there's just like endless task list yep it's just whenever you finally bite the bullet and do something you can check this one off your list yeah and it's, it's just it, it's a huge weight it just literally feels like a weight dra draining off me mm. we'll catch up with you when we're finished and we'll see how cold the fridge is mm. how ah this door hurts all righty Right. So temperature was two degrees, right there. It flicks between two and three now. Oh, there you go. Uh, focusing on your face, three degrees. There you go. Yep. Yep. So uh, that's pretty good. I mean, I think we can get this out of there now. Yeah, it doesn't have to. It's think. condensing. We have bought um, some thermometers to go in there. We just didn't have any in the house. Okay, so let's see how much we can fit in this fridge. So this is the uh, CRX80, so it's an 80 litre fridge. It's a, a decent sized fridge. Uh, and these are our thermometers, we finally got them. And the compartment here at the moment is about six degrees on the cold setting. And the freezer is on minus 12. Okay, so let's pack it. open again poor fridge so this is not nearly as full as it can be all the essential snacks are there you got the mousse you got the uh, uh, chocolate desserts with cream you got the ice cream you can fit technically two boxes of ice cream just not of that shape which is annoying so I might have to like trim the lid so I can fit them in the other direction you know very important but there's plenty of room here um, uh, and essentially you can fit probably well I think I think a weekly shop for for, 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 for for two people is probably fine to fit in here. The general advice that we got when we were picking our fridge is buy the biggest fridge that can fit in your space and I think we have more or less done that any bigger and and I really want to say thank you to everybody who purchased a sticker because all the money that we get from this batch of stickers is going towards paying off for this fridge and everybody who has already purchased a sticker for the fridge fund is immediately eligible for a cold beverage or um, ice cream 
or whatever you like that's in the fridge at that lemons. moment in time. Lemons! I love eating lemons. If you love lemons, you could have a lemon. So essentially, if you would like a sticker and you would like to support the <laughs> Freedom Strider Fridge Fund, uh, then uh, the link is down below uh, and you can grab one of these. Fridge! It's here. Working.